Right, welcome back to another episode of the Connect Roundtable discussion. So today, today we are going to be discussing all things purpose. Are we ready guys? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so who wants to define to us, and I want someone to define to us, <laughs> what is purpose? I feel like purpose is um, operating at a level that God has called you to be. Do we agree or disagree? I can't simply just dis- uh, is it describe explain mm, yeah. what purpose is, but um, I will use an example to illustrate what I mean by purpose. So it's like uh, the person who built the microphone. Yeah, the person built it with a, something in mind, with something he wanted to achieve. Mm-hmm. And he made the microphone for that particular reason. And so the purpose of the microphone is to serve that reason the person made it. So our purpose as human beings is to serve the reason why we were made and why we exist right now. We don't have one purpose as human beings. Unlike, um, I use the microphone as an example. So unlike the microphone, we human beings are, don't have one purpose. As in, if I can explain better, mm-hmm. it's like we have a, an ultimate reason why we were made. So at the end of our lives, at the end of our, uh, at the very peak of our lives, there is something that we needed to have achieved one particular thing. But then along the way, there are so many purposes. Okay, so do you, do we believe that one, we all have a common purpose? So like there's one thing that we want, that, like the same as thing. Well, as, as yeah. Well, people. like basically, like, as yeah. humankind, as humankind. Yes. Collectively. Or because like, okay. we're speaking as a Christians. Okay. Christians, is, do we have like one purpose? When we take it generally, then we can say that we have we a common purpose. Which yeah. is expand the kingdom of God. Yeah, so it's like the church. The church has a, a purpose, mm-hmm. but within the church, within the church, there are diff- many. So many of us make up the church, and we all have our roles, and have, we all have our purposes to uh, fulfill, in order to bring about the full vision of the church. Mm-hmm. So you and me, we all have that in common. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but right now, as we live. To get to that general purpose, yeah, yours will have to be something different. Maybe you will go through route A. Yeah. I will go through route B. But at the end of the day, we all have to arrive yeah. at the same place. Okay, okay. So let's put it. So what would you guys think on this side? As as we said, in the, in the body of Christ, as in, you know, as a Christians, we all have the same uh, yeah uh, objective. Jesus on the kingdom of God and then but then there are different ways in which we can you know we can make this um, destination our own because I have skills I have experience or my experience they're different from yours so in the way that I can contribute to to um, expand the gospel to someone else is that it's not the same way that you would you know do that so um, I believe so and that's what makes it um, yeah, it, interesting actually, and because we can reach different angles or different uh, areas of the globe or different, you know, industries, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, but then having the understanding that we are doing, you know, with this ultimate uh, yeah. goal. Mm-hmm. So at the end, you know, at the end of the journey, we all reach the same. And how comes that a lot of Christians are unaware of their purpose? The difficulty is not about the general purpose that we're talking about. Mm. The difficulty is uh, in the, what part do I play Mm. in God's plan? Mm. Yeah. So the, it's like the human body. Am I the hand? Mm -hmm. Am I the head? Am I the foot? Because if I am the hand, then I can't do the work of the foot. So for us to know individually what we are made to do in contribution to the whole human life is the uh, difficulty. Mm. Yeah, but God has made us in such a way 
that everything that we need to succeed and we need to be able to achieve whatever he has made us to is embedded in us. Everything you need. So there is nothing, when you are talking about purpose, you don't have to look external. You have to look within. Mm. So for me, for instance, when I, I love to sing, I love music. Yeah, growing up, when people are doing it, I kind of desire to do it. But it wasn't until after my senior high school education that I decided to, okay, let me join a choir and try. Mm. And the first time I did was embarrassing. I was shaking the microphone <laughs> like I couldn't sing. I was singing off key. And I remember the first time, even when I've been part of the choir for a bit, the, the first time that my pastor told me that I want you to lead worship. And I haven't led worship before before but then the leader of the worship at the church at the time was leaving there were some issues and he said that i want you to be my worship leader now I, I don't know what to do he said that just do it for me and the first time afterwards i didn't want to go back to church again because i felt so embarrassed it didn't go well but my pastor encouraged me oh do it that's what i want what you did is exactly what i like go on do it and by me doing it the potential was there, mm -hmm. but until I used it and kept using it mm -hmm. and it builds mm -hmm. and it became, so now when you see me and you, you see me doing it a bit much more better than before, you think that, oh, it just happened automatically. It didn't, mm -hmm. you get it? So some of the purposes, they are in there, they are blunt, but you need to sharpen it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the word. Mm -hmm. Do we, as here, feel like we know our purpose? Not me personally. I feel like I'm still on that route to finding mine. Even though I can do, say a few things, but I don't know what in particular, mm -hmm. what in particular it is that you know I can tell myself. I can actually stand and say this is my purpose. I know I can do one, two, or three things, but what in particular is it that you yeah. know, God called That's how me I felt as well. like, to? I used to I used to want to know the specific yeah. of what exactly it is like. It's kind of like, I know I have an umbrella. Mm. So the, the main umbrella is the actual specific purpose of why I'm basically on this earth. But then underneath that is the little components, the extra things that I'm doing on the side. So I feel like, yes, I'm in music. Yes, I do spoken word. Yes, I do all that. Those add on to the specific. Mm. So, yeah. so back in the day, I would think, okay, maybe I'm doing this and so maybe that's my purpose. But I feel like there is much more to it than just me doing the extra stuff. So yeah, I'm walking in it, but I don't think I've reached. Mm. And what? with the little things, you feel it's not enough, so you know it's not that particular thing. Yeah. Because you're doing everything, but you know that it's, it's actually not these, because it you don't feel satisfied. You know when you know your purpose and you're doing it, there's this satisfaction that you have. You know, mm -hmm. this is what I've been called to do and you're doing it. Because it brings, I feel like, when you are walking in the right line, mm -hmm. it brings some sort of fulfillment. Yeah. So that I feel like that's, I guess that's another tip. Like, well, do, I think when we're mm -hmm. talking, we're going to be dropping tips that if you feel some form of fulfillment when you do it, so it's not like for selfish gains or anything, but you, in your heart and within you, you feel like yes, I'm yes, doing this is what. It. Like you just know, mm -hmm. and I think that's sometimes. Um, I do feel like if you're dabbling in a lot of things, it, it can create confusion because you're just trying to look for where you fit. So if you're a square, you're trying to fit in a circle, you're trying to mm. fit in a rectangle. Mm. But until you find your perfect fit, then you'll feel like you're running a mess. So I think sometimes we need to narrow it down and sharpen what, like you said, sharpen what we have. Mm -hmm. And also for me personally, I think like when it comes to purpose, I know I am walking in it because one, I'm, I have that confirmation of, you know, fulfillment here and there. But as well as like, sometimes I feel like if God shows us what we have been called, called to do, I think we will run the other way. Me personally, God knows me that if he tells me, my dear daughter, this is, this it. is it. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's true. So I think God is so kind in the sense that he knows us and he knows his daughters he knows his sons and he knows that sometimes if he gives us the full picture that we it won't go well so he has to you know shed lights that if when we're walking then he's shed, shedding light 
Do you get what I'm saying? So when you're walking, there's a light, there's a light on your path, so you know that you're walking in the right direction. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's something that we, especially this generation, we need to be mindful of, especially if we know, like I said, we know the bigger picture of why we've been called, then I don't think we should say that we don't know our purpose. Because if we keep saying, I don't know my purpose, I don't know my purpose, I'm just doing anything, then we're going further away from what God, God has called, called us to do. Yeah. Can I ask one question? Mm -hmm. Can, well, you personally, if you, if you don't know your purpose, can someone on the side know your purpose? Can someone? Can somebody else say, for example, I don't know my purpose. Mm -hmm. Can't you know I think people can see in What's you yeah. maybe more because people can see in you what you might take for granted. Mm -hmm. So um, if there's a skill in you, because it's so second nature to you, you don't see it as God um, telling you to go into that area. Mm -hmm. But that's what He's made you comfortable, made you know. And so someone can see that and be like, "You're really good at this. This is not like normal." People mm. learn this, but you, you, to you, it comes second like nature. So yeah, other people can help you. And I, I will say that uh, it's only a few that are privileged to know their purpose, mm -hmm. like as early as possible. Mm -hmm. When I started out, right now, I can say that I know to some extent what I need to do. But there's always an yeah. extent. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, I know, or maybe you know the final, mm -hmm. and you, so I know that I have, uh, I'm called to teach. Mm -hmm. I have the, uh, the gifts mm -hmm. to teach, but I didn't know that before. And how did I come to know? By being in church, by allowing myself to go through the processes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because at the end of the day, although I have to teach, I can't just rise up one day into that position. I will fail, I might probably fail. So, and at, at the end of the day, sometimes it's like, when you have reached there, what next? Mm. There are things that God also adds up. God adds up. Because you've been faithful. He said that the one who, to him that is, um, to him that has more. Much is given. Yeah, much, much is given. Yeah, and to him uh, that is given much, much is required. Yeah. So, when you do, you are faithful in the little or the much that you have. God can see that, no, you've been able to cater for this. And at this capacity that you've grown to, I can add this on top. Mm -hmm. So purpose, I think, is also seasonal. Yeah. yeah, they come in seasons. Every season and what God is requiring from you. Mm -hmm. And like the examples that you were saying, like what shame would that have been? Because I see a lot in this generation that they don't move until they see the big picture. And so mm -hmm. you have people that are like, oh, I don't know my purpose. So, you know, I'm just... And then that's where the comparison comes in because they see other people walking mm -hmm. in, in their purpose. But like I'm saying, what shame would it, that would have been if these men of God w just sat there mm -hmm. and was waiting for God to yeah. tell them, okay, so you're gonna write books at this da 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 da, -da mm -hmm. before they started moving. Mm -hmm. But it's not until they were diligent in what God had given them at that time mm -hmm. that God was adding onto them yeah. and showing. Because I don't think he was to me. I don't think he was adding. He's just uncovering yeah. what he has already planned. That you know what at this stage, once you complete this then you're going to another level. Mm -hmm. It's like when you're playing games, until you finish that level, can't you can't go to the next level. Mm -hmm. And if you're waiting for God to reveal all the levels before you move from level one, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel like it's so tedious to get to level 10, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's easier to get to level 10 when you're on level nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you're looking at level 10 from level yeah. one, come on! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me shoot. It's, like, it's something in your head yeah. yeah. I, I need to get to the next stage. Yeah, to the next stage, yeah. Yeah, so it's like you'll be, you'll be available available and ready to do anything in that particular season, in that particular level, to make sure that you hit the next stage, that mm -hmm. where God has placed you to be. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think we can do in this generation, especially, um, in terms of pursuit of purpose? Thank you for the question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so to pursue your purpose, I think is more so not a trial and error. I don't think trial and error is something that you should be doing in the first place at all. I don't think that's something you should even play about with because you get so comfortable in that position. You become complacent and you think, I've been called into this ministry because I'm so good at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when you're talking about second nature, other people can be good things. Me and you, we were both, into, we were both doing dancing, but we have not been called into dancing. 
Do you get what I mean? Or maybe you have been called into it, but I have not been called into it. So then I can't say it's a, um, so <laughs> I can't say that because of that, um, I too should be it. Because like you said, comparisons, comparisons would then be made and that's what we're trying to avoid. One easy way to find out your purpose mm -hmm. as a person is to ask questions. Mm -hmm. So ask yourself where you find yourself each and every time. Ask yourself, why am I here? Mm -hmm. Where I am right now in this church, why am I here? Mm -hmm. Okay, as I am here, what can I do to contribute to the church? In my own way, how can I help build up the church? You mm -hmm. get it? You ask yourself these questions and where can I fit? What, what can I do to complement what others are doing? Mm -hmm. So every time you ask yourself these questions, then you are on the road to finding the answers. Mm. You get it. But then if you don't ask and you just wake up and you move, you just wake up and move, then that will be life for you. But mm. when you ask questions, when you think and you meditate, you realize that something will pop up. As you are asking yourself, what can I do? As I find myself, I'm here for a reason. Therefore, what is it? What can I do to help? Yeah better the place that I find myself. And you will see that, okay, they are lacking in there. I think I'm, I have something that I can do to help yeah. in that area. And as you move to do it, you'll be surprised that, oh, the reason why God placed you there is because really they were lacking in that area and you have that strength and you have that capability to solve it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you you just did. Mm -hmm. I would add that, you know, in order to, if, yeah, in order to pursue your Bibles, um, to, to go back to God, actually. Yeah. Another thing that I would say is actually, is actually um, obedience. Be obedient to what God will tell you at that particular season. Yeah, for example, um, when God told Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, he was obedient to his word. And uh, although he didn't know where, you know, he said, God said that, um, and I'll show you which side or which place, which mountain to stop with, to stop at. And um, he didn't, he didn't know the full story, you know, Abraham didn't know the full story, but then uh, his obedience uh, allowed him to start, to start something. And then on the journey, then God uncovered, you know, where the next step. So uh, I believe that obedience also is, um, you know, being faithful and be obedient to what God has told you and placed in your heart to do at that particular stage can lead you to, you know, the next. to the next. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So then would you say, the question now, general question, so would you say, um, in order for you to know your purpose or to walk in your purpose, one must have a deep relationship with God for Him to reveal to you um, the things of your, your walk for you. I think, I think so. so. Yeah, yeah. I think That's so. Really cool. So I think that yeah. we need to be have that mindset that we need to go back to God at every stage, and by going to Him, we need to have a relationship where He can freely tell us where to go. For example, like with that Abraham story, there's another part where he said, you know, go to a land in which I will show you. He had to be obedient. It's like, okay, but where, where is this place that you're taking me? He's like, go and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So I think we just, and all honesty, I think we need to move. Yeah. We need to move. Yeah. We need to move. Yeah, so if you need faith to move and you need to obey, obedience is very key. Mm -hmm. When you are head, sometimes personally you can hear God speaking to you to do something. You get the inner conviction that I feel like I want to do this. That intuition, when you follow, it works. Mm. Sometimes God also speaks with the voice of the other people. He mm -hmm. speaks through other people as well. Mm. So someone might tell you, oh, my sister, I've seen this. Can you do this for me? Just do it. Just give it a try. And you'll be surprised that maybe it's God speaking through that person. Like Jesus said that my sheep knows my voice mm -hmm. and they hear me. You should be able to identify God's voice and you should be able to hear him when he speaks. And that comes through constant fellowship with him and the connection that you need with him and his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't want anyone to think that they're wasting time. You know, mm -hmm. like sometimes you feel like you're doing a lot of things and then you're wasting time. I think the only time you're wasting is if you're stagnant and not doing anything. Um, because if you are doing something, maybe you started a project and it failed because you, you know, you thought you had God, but something happened. Um, I don't want you to see it like as you wasted time because there is so much that you can learn mm -hmm. from that particular thing. Mm -hmm. So a lot of us that we might have dabbled in different things, different ministries, different departments, 
and things like that but we've learned some skills we've sharpened something in us um that has prepared us for maybe the next level that we're going so i don't feel like any anything that you touch is not a waste of time or it's not a waste of skill like just use that and see ask questions like okay what can i learn from this situation what can i learn from this scenario and how can i use that in, in the future so um advice don't compare yourself i mean everyone's being called according to god's purpose but different ways um, obviously we have that one main goal but what he does is different to what i've been told to do so don't compare yourself when you see yourself as god's chosen um a candidate on this earth to do something for him so just do what you have to do according to god's will um based on what he has instructed you to do and obviously at the end of it all you feel purpose thank you so much for tuning in on our episode on purpose purpose is such a broad topic and we couldn't explore everything that we wanted to but i hope that the little that we have said and shed some light on that you will take it on board um, and we wish you the best on your pursuit of purpose stay connected Woo!